Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back here with a, with the ser the Human Warrior series. I'm gonna have to restart because my character was getting his ass kicked, and it's because I wasn't building the character right. You know, and when you don't build your character right, you just can't you can't go anywhere. You just can't. So it's time I restart. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart the Human Warrior. So I do apologize, y'all have to watch the beginning again, but there's nothing I can do. If you fuck up so bad in this game, you have to restart. You just have to. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Dark Spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. It's been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. Seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Okay, so like I said, I had to start over because I just. I was not getting anywhere. I was just dying and dying and dying and... And so I had... I have to start over. Um... There, good enough. All right. Strength needs one. Dexterity needs one. Willpower needs two.
actually. There. Okay. Want coercion? That way we can persuade or intimidate. Now... Powerful for my warrior. We'll do shield pummel. All right. Easy. Yep. Okay. So I do apologize everyone starting over, but like I said, if you're, you don't build your character right, you're not going to get anywhere. And I was having trouble with a mission in the last game and it just got to the point I just wasn't doing enough damage and I just kept dying and dying and dying, so. For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyava, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Arlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. Though we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. How? You remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. My daughter Delilah asked after you. Perhaps I should bring her next time. Good. She goes on about your prowess as a warrior. I think you have an admirer, young man. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Now, that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Coosland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. They are the heroes of legend, who ended the Blights and saved us all. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the South. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? In the meantime, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me.
Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt. Spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Um... I want to just see what where what dolls were. Okay, that the guard post I think has a chest in it, but I'm not sure. Um, I shall do it very well. How do you do lock picking? I wonder. Um. Is it a skill? Stealing, that's what it is. We need a stealing skill as well. Okay. So the next time we get a skill point, that's what we'll do. We'll do some stealing as well. Because why not? It shall be done. Oh, my lord, we were just... Uh, well, uh, well, the treasury's safe. I'm not even sure why the Tern stationed us here. We appreciate that, my lord. Thank you. Okay. There you are. Your mother told me the Terran had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. No matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. I'm not willing to test that. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari Warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Good evening, my lord. As you say, it shall be done. Nothing here in the study, okay? I know I probably don't have to go through all this again. Boy, by chance I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans, the very family in whose castle you live. Show some respect. If the mind is not exercised, it withers just as the body does. Perhaps you'd care to join me in teaching the lesson? Wonderful. The Coosland history is long indeed. Where shall we start? The records are vague, but the Kuslans became Tyrns during the Black Age. Is that familiar, child? Every day I pray to the Maker that my lessons will stick, and every day he tasks me anew. At that time, your family held only the minor title of Ban. When the werewolves reached this area, Ban Mather Kusland organized a curfew and patrols within the city. Several other local bands supported his efforts by swearing oaths of fealty, making him their turn. 
Well, I'm glad some of my lessons don't disappear into that yawning chasm between your ears, young man. If I were truly a skilled tutor, I suspect I would not encounter such insouciance amongst my pupils. You can look that up later. At any rate, your family has held the tourneur of High Ever since before King Kalanad united Ferelden. In fact, Tierna Elethea Kuslan battled Kalanad to maintain High Ever's independence. Kalanad wished to unite Ferelden, not conquer it. After Elethea's men were defeated, Kalanad asked her to swear fealty. The boulder where they held council still stands today as a memorial of that event. The Kuslans are ardent royalists now, but at that time, Kalanad was unknown and considered dangerous by many. When Kalanad's army reached High Ever, Tierna Elethea led the local bands against him. Obviously, Kalan had won. The history between the Kuslans and the Howls reaches back to the Orlesian occupation. During the rebellion against Orle, several battles were fought near High Ever. The port village of Harpers Ford was the Turnier's center. Its Arl was Tarleton Howe. Though nearly 90, he was still as sharp and bitter as cheap ale. Your grandfather openly supported the rebellion, but how sided with Orlay? Your family was forced to seize Harper's Ford before it was all over. The Howes eventually joined the rebellion, when all of Ferelden united behind King Merrick and General Loghain. Just as now we united behind Merrick's son, King Caelan to fight the Darkspawn. Thank you for indulging an old man. Oh, does that mean we have to listen to you now? Silence! I will not have you two becoming smart-mouthed hooligans. Perhaps you should go. I doubt they need any more distraction. I'm just going to settle in here and apparently just talk to myself for all the good I'm doing. Okay. Yes, I know how to control. Yes, I know how to deal with locked items. Come on, I know, I know, I know. Alright. Get that bloody mutt out of the larder. But, Mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. Oh, look at that mess. How did he even get in here? He does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, did you hear that? like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. 
Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. Those were rats from the Kokari wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. Okay. I shall do it. Thank you. And you. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. What? Rats? Not the large grey ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then. Take these pork bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. <coughs> Dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. Okay. Well, we got that done. Lock door. We're not going the right way. I know that for sure. Need to go this way. There we go. What's in here? Nothing. All right. And my dear Bryce bought this pack from Orlay last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? You've always had a way with her. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right in front of your family, too. You remember my son, Dyron. I believe you two sparred in the last tournament. And you beat me handily, as I recall. It's good to see you again, my lord. And this is my lady in waiting, Iona. Do you say something, dear? It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. As it pleases you, my lord. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dyron, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship. Okay. And here we go. Is there really going to be a war, Papa? Or will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. Stay. I'd like to say farewell. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. Well, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to be ahead, so little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone.
the maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, maker's breath. I swear it's like living with a pack of small boys. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her brother, won't you? Oh good. How thrilling to know I'm so well taken care of. <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. Okay. So. Oh, the dog's going nuts again. Okay. You. 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 All right. There we go. works. I heard fighting outside and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? A scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Howl's men. Why would they attack us? You don't think Howl's men were delayed? On purpose? That bastard. I'll cut his lying throat myself. Have you seen your father? He never came to bed. We must find him. I am no Orlesian wallflower. Give me a sword and I'll use it. Now let's go. Hey, I know how inventory works. As you say. All right. Oh, uh, we we always take one for strength. You want one in willpower and one in cunning. I think I'm going to do uh, dual wield. Though it takes um cunning to do.
But you know, I mean, dual wield kind of sounds like fun to do, though. Okay. So, four hound. We'll always need one in strength. He'll need one in willpower. And we'll do cunning. Okay. Now, we need to get... You a weapon. There you go. Perhaps we can salvage some things here, darling. Some of it. Your father's belongings are in that trunk. Okay. You need a shield. Okay. Slaughter's innocence. How is not even taking hostages? He means to kill all of us. Oh, poor fuckers. Let's go. I don't want to see this. Okay. Okay, now I think I've got the hang of fighting. It shall be done. As you say. Yeah, now I think I've got the hang of fighting. Oh dear Ladra. I'm I'm so sorry. If she hadn't come to me. If she hadn't been here. Can you hear the fighting? Hal's men must be everywhere. The front gates. That's where your father must be. If Hal's men are inside, they must already control the castle. We must use the servant's entry in the larder to escape. Do you hear me? Then let us be swift. Okay, so we need to find the treasury first. Which is... There, okay. The castle has fallen! I'm getting out of here! Yes, my lord. Here, here they come. Now we go. Boom, here we go. Another may buy. Okay. Here 
There we go. Damn. Down you go, bitch. Get all your loot. Castle gates. That's surely where your father. Damn it. As you say. I wish you could turn off the right click to move. Feature. I, I really wish you could. Because sometimes when you try to loot, you end up moving, and it, it's just so shitty. So. All right. So if you go into the treasury, you get an upgraded sword here. We're getting close to the treasury. The Kuzlan family blade lies inside. Here, darling, take my key. That blade cannot fall into Hal's hands. It should sever his treacherous head. It is begun. You get scale armor and a new... Um, shield, which we can't use the shield. There's our sword that I was looking for. Family sword. Then the shield of hide over, which we can't use yet because we don't have enough strength for. Oh, so you bastards want to fight, huh? Quickly, we must fight. He's begun. I shall do it. We must get to the castle gates. I know, you're just in the way of me looting. There we go. I shall do it. Sure, there's nothing over here. Let me see, is there people here to kill? Yes, there are. There, we sliced his head off. <laughs> There. I want all the experience I can get. I want all the experience I can get.
That's why I'm looking around. I want to fight as many people as I can. Because, hey, free experience, man. Free experience. And I think that was my trouble the first time. I didn't fight everybody and... Of that mage, we don't want that mage. I keep forgetting to equip the health potions. Man the gate, keep those bastards out as long as you can. Your ladyship. My lord, you're both alive. I was certain Hell's men had gotten through. He was looking for you two. He told us to hold the hall as long as possible. When I realized what was happening, it was all I could do to shut the gates. But they won't keep Hell's men out long. If you've another way out of the castle, use it quickly. When I last saw the turn, he'd been badly wounded. I urged him not to go but he was determined to find you. He went towards the kitchen. I believe he thought to find you at the servant's exit in the larder. Bless you, Sir Gilmore. Make her watch over you. Make her watch over us all. Okay. So before we do anything, we are... gonna do that. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna... Loot. It is begun. There we go. As you say. Okay. Very well. Okay. So I do want to check around. Help us all. We're going to die. Run. I shall do it. More enemies ahead. There. It is begun. Dirty kit. That's what we'll need to buy. I know that. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Nice, we'll take that injury kit. Let me see here, though. See, there's something in here. You both are. I was. Bryce. Wondering when you would get here. Maker's blood, what's happening? You're bleeding. Owl's men found me first. Almost did me in right there. He can't get away with this. The king will. Bryce, we must get you out of here. I... I won't survive the standing, I think. Ah. My boy. If only Will could make it so. Once Hal's men break through the gate, they will find us. We must go! Someone... must reach Burgess. Tell him what has happened. Yes. Vengeance. Bryce, no. The servant's passage is right here. We can flee together, find you healing magic. The castle is surrounded. I cannot make it. I'm afraid the turn is correct. Hal's men have not yet discovered this exit, but they surround the castle. Getting past will be difficult. You are Duncan, then? The Grey Warden? Yes, your ladyship. The turn and I tried to reach you sooner. My youngest son helped me get here. Make her be praised. I am not surprised. I fear your thanks are premature. I doubt I have saved him. Whatever is to be done now, it must be quick. They are coming. Duncan, you are under no obligation to me. But I beg you, take my wife and son to safety. I will, your lordship. But I fear I must ask for something in return. Anything! What is happening here pales in comparison to the evil now loose in this world. I came to your castle seeking a recruit. The Darkspawn threat demands that I leave with one. I... I understand. You fought your way to me through Hal's men. I think the Maker's intention is clear. I will take the Tirna and your son to Ostagar to tell Fergus and the King what happened. Then, your son joins the Grey Wardens. So long as justice comes to Hal. I agree. Then I offer you a place within the Grey Wardens. Fight with us. We must leave quickly then. Bryce, are you... sure? Our son will not die of Hal's treachery. He will live and make his mark on the world. Darling, go with Duncan. You have a better chance to escape without me. Eleanor. Hush, Bryce. I'll kill every bastard that comes through that door to buy them time. But I won't abandon you. My place is with your father. At his side, to death and beyond. I'm... so sorry it's come to this, my love. We had a good life, and did all we could. It's up to our children now. Then go, Pa. Warn your brother. You know that we love you both. You do us proud. They've broken through the gates. We must go now. Goodbye, darling.
We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other Wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. No need, Duncan. You are Bryce's youngest, are you not? I don't think we've ever actually met. Your brother has already arrived with High Ever's men, but we are still awaiting your father. Dead? What do you mean? Duncan, do you know anything about this? Terran Kuzland and his wife are dead, Your Majesty. Arl Howe has shown himself a traitor and overtaken High Ever Castle. Had we not escaped, he would have killed us and told you any story he wished. I can scarcely believe it. Well, how could he think he could get away with such treachery? As soon as we are done here, I will turn my army north and bring Howe to justice. You have my word. No doubt you wish to see your brother. Unfortunately, he and his men are scouting in the wilds. Not until the battle is over, I fear. Until then, we cannot even send word. I apologize, but there's nothing more I can do. All I can suggest is that you vent your grief against the Darkspawn for the time being. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn Horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an arch demon behind this, but I cannot ask the King to act solely on my feeling. Wait for reinforcements. We sent a call out west to the Grey Wardens of Orlais, but it will be many days before they can join us. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Your hound can stay with me while I attend to some business. The Grey Warden tent is on the other side of this bridge. You will find us there should you need to. Okay. So, I'm going to call it for this video. Again, I apologize everyone starting over, but I I didn't build that character right. And, um, You know, I'm going to try again with this one so 
I was flying blind with um, that first one, so I have a bit more knowledge of what to do now, so I think I'll do better with this one. So, hope you all had fun this episode. I did, and I'll see you all next episode.